So I want to I want to go over the um, immutable part again. I know I covered it like way back from the beginning of the semester, but let's let's do it one more time so that you understand what's immutable. Immutable means okay. So this is the immutable first. Immutable means um, cannot change value. Okay, its data cannot be changed. Um, a string class is immutable, so it, it may it may seem like you actually change the value, but actually it's not. You actually be creating that object every time uh, in the constant pool. Okay, if it's if it's not there. <clears throat> so we show immutable by doing this. If I create a string, call it s1, equal to a string. I will call this just um, apple. Okay, so this one you create and as soon as I run this line eight, JVM will look inside the constant pool to see if there's a variable. Uh, it says an object that has a value apple in there. If it doesn't, it will create that the object, and then S one points to that memory address in apple. Okay, and if I have another one, a string S two. <coughs> If I put Java, so again, same thing, we'll look inside the constant pool. Java doesn't exist, so you create a second object in there called Java, and it points, uh, it gives the memory address assigns to S2. So now they have two separate memory addresses, and so you can pair these two, but they won't be equal, right? Um, because the memory address is, is different. Okay, so if I print this out, <coughs> just S O U T. Control space bar, um, just to show S1. We'll put that S1 here, and then we'll put a space. Um, oh no, let's let's do a new line. It's too confusing. Let's do a new line. We'll print the S2. The value of S2. So we expect this to be Apple, and this is going to be just Java, right? <clears throat> and then now, um, <clears throat> if I now say S2 is equal S1, right? So now they're both. Uh, both has have the value of apple, right? As I point S2 assigns to S1. If I print them out again, <clears throat> well, actually, you just copy this. Copy these two print statements here, put it here the second time. <clears throat> Then you expect S1 to have Apple, and then Java will be also Apple, right? That's what we expect. So they know they both have the same value. <clears throat> and then now you have, let's just say, S1 is going to be changed to uh, Peach. Okay, so the value has been changed for S1. <clears throat> S S2 you don't change. You still have the word Apple in there, right? Because you haven't changed the value. So if I print those two statements again, the S1 will be uh, Peach. S2 should say Apple, right? <clears throat> That's, uh, and this is true because this is um, immutable. Immutable means they're not pointing to the same memory address anymore, right? So once I, right here, line 13, they're equal. They're both pointing to the same variable or the same object that has the value of apple inside the constant pool. So when I print both of those uh, uh, variables, I have the word, the, the value apple in there. And now S1 is now assigned a new value called peach and peach is not inside that constant pool 
So JVM will instantiate an object inside a peach inside a content pool that has a value called peach, and S1 now points to that object. But S2 is still pointing to its original um, apple. So you print it out, you get peach, but you get apple. And then now because they're pointing to two separate objects, their values don't match, and also um, their memory address don't match. So when you use the the equal operator, they won't they'll be false. So if you run this, <clears throat> and that's that's what you should expect to see, right? So here, uh, the first one, the first group, I have um, Apple and Java, that's expected. <clears throat> and then I change S2 to S1, so now they're both Apple, just like we expect. And then I change the S1 to Peach. And then you see that Peach is printed for S1. S2 still stores Apple. Right? So this is immutable. <clears throat> I'm changing one that's not affect the other. That's what it means. Right? So I'm changing the value of S1 in line 17. It does not change the value of S2. Even though up here, they're actually pointing to the same memory location. 